You all know exactly who I am. Say my name. Do what? I don't, I don't have a damn clue who the hell you are. Yeah, you do. I'm the confidence creator. I'm the man who quits pussy. <laughs> First and foremost, I want to say rest in peace to the late, great John Witherspoon. Today we're going to be discussing dating tips for men. So stay to the end of the video because I got a bonus tip for you. So like, comment, share, subscribe, and guess what? I'm back, strike a match, catch a fire, and a moment I decide that's enough for all your lies, boy, you bullshit. Man, listen, my presence is a present. So if I set a date... Best believe they gonna be there. I don't need to confirm it. Hashtag this line, your honor. Hashtag I don't believe these. Hashtag don't let it pray for these. God. Yo, yo, why y'all always be on my channel trying to play me? I mean, I am lying, but still, you know what? I'm gonna just tell y'all what y'all supposed to do. Say you meet a girl on Monday, and you're planning on going out on a date with her on Friday. So on Thursday, you're gonna send her the location, and say it's Applebee's for happy hour, five to seven. And just let her know you'll see her tomorrow. Keep it short. And then on the day of the date, I usually would say do about two hours before. Let them know you're going to be running about 15 minutes late. So that way, if something comes up, you don't get flaked on it. You don't show up there and she's not there. Usually I like to tell my guys to arrive maybe 10, 15 minutes after that time too because females are never on time so say you get there 10 to 15 minutes late and she's there great say you get there 10 to 15 minutes late and she's not there hurry up bitch depends on how many girls you have in your rotation if you don't have time for the bs you can send her that text like yeah i'm about to go I, i'm i got something else that i gotta do after but if you don't have any other girls in your rotation I would simply just give her a call or text her, ask her how far she is because you're getting ready to order some drinks. Be yourself. Well, <laughs> depends on what you're looking for. Um, if you're just looking to date and, you know, hook up real quick, I would say... Tell the hoes whatever they want here. But if you're looking for a girlfriend or something like that, then, you know, be yourself because after a few days or months or whatever you call it, you're going to have to keep up this persona. And if she's not rocking with you because she don't like your personality, then, you know, there's a door. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck. That's my favorite quote. There's the door. Like, you can step. Because the thing about men is if you're looking for a relationship, you, a guy, it's easy for a guy to find a relationship. You find a girl that likes you, you ask her to go out with you. Oh, shit, that's just too easy. No, 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 that shit is too easy. I feel like a decent amount of females are, would like to be in a relationship. So, I believe the relationship card is equivalent to sex for a girl. Like, a girl can get sex and a guy can get a relationship. But a girl can't get a relationship that easy. And you're wondering, how do I know that? It's because when I was younger, me and my friend, we would have a girlfriend competition, which basically was seeing who could get the most girlfriends. And no, it's not ethical, I know, but it was funny because you could just walk up to a girl and be like, yo, I love you. I don't, I don't let's skip all the BS. Like, I want you to be my girlfriend. And the girl would be like, you for real? I'm like, I'm dead serious. Are you serious? Yeah, girl, I think I love you. <laughs> I think I love you. Opening doors. And by doors, I mean the car doors. I'm pretty sure most guys, they open regular doors. But it's debatable. And I believe opening the car door for a lady is, in my opinion, corny as hell. I went out with a girl who wanted me to open up the car door for her. And this is how it went. It's open. It's open. I don't go out on dates with guys who don't open the door for me. Really? Really. Seriously? Yes. Oh man. No, he didn't. Yeah, that basically summed up the situation. If you don't want to do something, don't let anyone make you do it. 
at the end of the day, if you're put in that situation, you're in a lose-lose situation. If you do it, she's going to lose respect for you because she wanted you to do something and you did it for her. And if you don't do it, well, we didn't end up going out that night, but we continued to talk and you know. I banged you here, I nailed you there, and on this couch, and in this chair, in the doorway, the hallway, on every stair, we, we tapped, tapped that ass all over this house. And I never held the door for her, so. We're gonna take a brief intermission in honor of Pops. Hey, 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 you better put some water on that shit, boy. So, what we gonna do right now is we gonna pour a little water out for my man John Witherspoon. Rest in peace, Pops. Disgusting. <laughs> These videos take me like three, four hours to do. So do me a favor, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'm gonna make this a three-part series instead of two. So I have 12 tips in total. But I was gonna split it up into two videos, but now I decided I'm gonna do three. Sorry for the wait, Lil Wayne voice. I'm sorry for the wait, I'm sorry for the wait. And if you're in the New York area and you want to learn how to approach women in person, and you want me to be your one-on-one -on -one personal dating trainer, I'll take you out and we'll have a good time and I'll show you what it's about. So check the website out. Link is always in the description below. Schedule a call with me and we'll set some time up to where we can uh we can go out in person. And for all those girls that I dated at the same time, I still love you. I think I love Nigga, you don't love me. Nigga, you don't love me. Nigga, you don't love me. I think I love her. Oh, yeah. And I got a message for the rest of you dating coaches. Got a message out for me. Playtime is over.